a lot of you guys ask me about my artwork in the background of my video. Uh, you know, I yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm going with this, but uh, some of the artwork has a really deep meaning connected to me, my background, my uh, ethnicity, and everything. So yeah, I will go through some of the what it means with you guys in this video, I guess. This is the first ever painting I ever done in my whole life, the flower fish one. Um, it's very dusty as you can see. I don't look after my paintings very well. Um, as you guys may see this on the back of my video, yeah, when I record, like you can see bits and pieces of it. But yeah, I did this when I was in year 10. Uh, it's probably, we're supposed to do a pun or some sort, but yeah. My, I just wanted to paint something pretty, I guess, so that's what it turned out to be. This is the second ever painting I've done in my whole entire life. It's supposed to represent, uh, as you can see, this side is supposed to be, represent where I came from, my nationality, my ethnicity, I guess who I was before. Or you can say like the two side of me. So this side is like my ethnicity side and this side is where I am now, like currently in Australia. So this is my second ever painting. I hate, I hate this painting so much, honestly. I do not like it. I think it's very ugly. <laughs> I just don't like it overall because, I don't know, I just don't like, this is supposed to be self-portrait and I've never painted a human before. Ever since I did the self-portrait, I just don't want to paint anything related to human being or anything like that because I just, I just, I don't know, I just find painting very paint a human very hard and I just didn't want to do it after that but yeah this is this is where I start the journey of painting I guess my background and all that stuff so yeah okay so this painting is really really big it's the biggest painting I've ever done this one has a lot more deeper meaning and you guys can see this painting a little bit on the background of where I film like just a, like a little quarter a tiny bit of it so this one is like a lot about like a huge amount of my background, my history, my cultural history and what they've been through my cultural history and what they've been through as a country, as an ethnicity, as a nation I guess um, the fire and stuff represents like the struggles that we have been through or the um, villages that were burnt um, in order for us to escape to the refugee camp and this woman here is supposed to represent all the women, children and child who has to escape you know the violence that was going on in Burma so this is literally um, this painting it's supposed to tell the story of from my mom's experience but if we're being honest here it's pretty much um, a representation of all the Korean people which is my ethnic background of what they've been through um, so yeah this this side right here is supposed to represent like Korean state which is where um, we like an uh, ethnicity country state you know and the mountain in the background like right here is supposed to uh, represent our current state um, uh, what do you call it uh, capital city in our capital city in current state we have this mountain here and on this and the only thing that's dividing Burma and Thailand is like this big river and that's what it's supposed to represent and on this side of the river is supposed to represent Thailand where we flee and seek refuge in Thailand which where I was born in the refugee camp so like that's why my last painting was like representing me living now and this represents me like my past you know not only my past my parents past and all the current people that I've been gone through so yeah I lied I did four paintings <laughs> so this one is the last painting that I did in year 12 and this is supposed to be re uh, just show you what the refugee life is like um, so it's supposed to represent like what, uh, it's supposed to represent what the refugee camp is like. Yeah, how when my parents got into the refugee camp for the first time, I don't know why it's a bit pink there. <laughs> um, the refugee camp for the first time, they had to live under tents, and that's what the reason why I painted and I used charcoal and paint for this. Uh, I used this in black and white was to represent the past. Now it's in the past now, and it's not that I forgot it. Like it's just. It's part of my past where I am now you know so that's why the reason why I did this painting this was my last painting like it was continuation of my other paintings and um, to represent who I was and my past I guess so yeah also today uh, you know I haven't painted for three years now so I'll be painting the first time 
to gain three years so yeah this is really exciting for me because I really do like painting I'm not an artist or anything like that but I like painting it's very therapeutic it's very therapeutic for me so um yeah like like I said I'm not an artist I just do it for fun and the last time I painted was I painted was when I was in high school so that was three years ago so yeah so here I am doing painting this is actually for my assignment um you know but since I'm like I haven't painted in a long time it's my assignment but I thought that I would share the journey of me doing it um with you guys um and also uh I've never really painted human hands or um you know I've never really painted humans hand in general I don't really like to paint human body because the color uh, the color is really hard to do skin tone and everything so this is going to be a little bit challenging for me I've only painted three paintings in my life <laughs> so I, I'm just going with the flow challenging myself as I go and yeah, that's just how it's going to be so um, don't get me too hard when I finish okay <laughs> My battery ran out, so uh, yeah, I had to charge it. I've made some progress with my painting, but I still haven't done it, so I'll show you guys. First of all, like I said, I'm not a painter, so don't judge me too harsh on it, but I just thought that I'll uh, do my first painting with you guys, so in three years since I haven't done it, so I haven't done it. It's not finished, but it's, it's getting there, so it's kind of really nice to see on the camera, actually. I don't know what it looks like on camera. It looks like this. Like I said earlier, it's got to do with my assignment. So, yeah. That's why it is the way it is. If you can see clearly the picture, maybe you can't see it clearly. I'm not 100% sure. But if you can see it, you will kind of probably guess what kind of degree I am studying. Probably it's obvious. If you can see it clearly, I'll show you guys the picture. But I'll I've got a little bit to go, and I still need to do my hands and yeah, it's, uh, what did I say, it's a little bit hard, it's a little bit hard, but I really enjoy doing it, because I've never really drawn human hair or painted human hair on hand before, so I wasn't sure what kind of color I'm supposed to use, and which is a little hard, you know, because yeah, color is very important when you paint. The amount I've done so many mistakes in this painting, on this painting, um, there's many mistakes on here. I had to redo it. If only you guys could see everything you see. I just struggled with it before I got up to here. I just couldn't get the colours right, like I just couldn't get the colours mixing right because I was stupid with it. So yeah. But right now you can't see it because you can't see that struggling side of my life or this painting. I'm gonna struggle with this side anyway, so you're gonna see that. I don't know if any of you guys can watch this, but it doesn't matter, hey, I can still share what you can watch it or not. It doesn't matter. Right. <laughs>
谢谢你，才不能忘记。我愿躲着所有的眼睛，幻觉在相遇，很多很多。这感觉从未体会过。也许还会有爱情，可我都不是你。想要放下幸福人，对你总无法眷恋。一生，这次一次，也对你拼尽所有力气，抱紧。